Aloha mai kako, Cliff Kia. Uh, my name is Cliff. Uh, I'm a Hawaii Island resident. Uh, currently driving down from Mauna Kea back to uh, my house in Hilo Town. Uh, the audio might not be the best right now just because I'm driving in my, my truck coming down from uh, a gathering of people in opposition of the construction of the 30 meter telescope. A, a few people have asked me what are some thoughts and perspectives on the situation, especially why do a lot of people oppose the 30 meter telescope construction. Uh, I'm not going to speak on uh, all the perspectives, just mostly my own, and I'm really just going to narrow in on one particular perspective of why I do not support the construction of the 30 meter telescope currently. And for people who don't know what the 30 meter telescope is, it's a, an international consortium of institutions and government agencies, both here in Hawaii and abroad. Um, they make up of people from the University of Hawaii, University of California, uh, different institutions in Canada, Japan, India, and a few others. And what the 30 meter telescope is aiming to do is it's aiming to create a space, an astronomy center, which will revolutionize the way we understand the universe. And what that means is that we will be able to see distant systems in the universe so far away that we can figure out what was going on or potentially figure out what was going on uh, during the Big Bang or the beginning of the universe and how that uh, how that perspective is founded on or what it's grounded upon is that when we look at the Sun in real time the light that leaves the Sun from its origin and travels across space to Earth and hit our eye it takes time, minutes. And for if there was someone, hypothetically speaking, a, an astronaut near the sun and the sun went out, the light bulb just went out, and he radioed into Earth and said, The sun just went out, it would be minutes before we actually see our night sky or the, the sky go black. And that's because it takes time for those light particles whether it's a particle or a wave to get from the origin, the sun, to its destination, our eye on Earth. From what the telescope will do, it's, it's able to detect light so far away that when it hits the detector, it would have taken so long that at the origin of that light, it would have been during that Big Bang period so, so long time ago. Which sounds pretty cool to me, honestly. Like that, that seems very, very cool. I'm a curious mind and I believe that understanding more about our natural world can only empower us to make better decisions uh, moving forward. From a resonant perspective, I am in opposition to the 30 meter telescope's construction, mostly because of the way the operation is being handled. But more so than that, the, the site, Mauna Kea, that place has tremendous value, not just for indigenous people, but also for other people across the world. Mauna Kea is an amazing site to study the celestial solar system, distant galaxies, because of the atmosphere, the climate, also the, the ability to have minimal light pollution by the residents of the island. These are all different factors that have played into it making an amazing site and very valuable for astronomers. But Mauna Kea is also a very valuable place for the residents here, um, Hawaiian and non-Hawaiian alike. Um, all residents. Additionally, Mauna Kea is a designated 
National Natural Landmark. It is said to be owned by the federal and state government. Whether we agree with that or not, that is besides the point in this particular statement. Regardless of the Hawaiians, the astronomers, the residents say, Mauna Kea, the, the United States government has shown Mauna Kea, has shown value in Mauna Kea, has shown that it is a pristine land area. And reading the National Park Service.gov website, when these national landmarks have been designated, they encourage organizations and governments to keep these places pristine. So there's already been value established in this place as a pristine area, conservation land. And I, as a scientist, I don't believe it is ethical to develop pristine land and use science as a legitimate reason why development should occur. And this development is not it, it, the development doesn't have a small footprint. This is a massive, massive, massive in infrastructure that will be established to study the universe in a conservation land, in pristine area. Like, this is my biggest issue with the 30 meter telescope and why I don't agree with it is that if we continue to develop on our protected areas, on our pristine areas, we will have nothing left. This isn't about just Hawaiians versus non-Hawaiians or Hawaiians versus scientists. This is just about humanity. You know? If this telescope goes up, it sets precedence that science can come into any conservation land and have it as a legitimate reason why it should be developed. To put massive infrastructure. This would be the largest infrastructure in Hawaii. We're talking bigger than the stadium, bigger than the airport. We're putting this massive, massive entity on top of pristine land in the name of science. If there was a hospital that say could cure a cancer, but the only place it could cure that type of disease is if it's built on half dome, would people be okay with that? For people to say that they don't want that to happen, does that mean that they hate medicine? And though that's definitely a stretch, what's happening here in Hawaii this pristine national natural landmark is being developed in the name of science additionally using military force deploying the National Guard declaring a state of emergency because people are in opposition peaceful opposition to this infrastructure it blows my mind that any scientists will be willing to condone those actions for the sake of their experiment. I do not believe it is ethical to use military force, to use any type of governmental force for any reason to perform scientific experiments. And I'm not speaking on behalf of the universities that I've been trained in. I'm not speaking on behalf of any of my professors. I'm only speaking on behalf of myself, an individual, a scientist. I do not believe this is the way science should be done. And I definitely don't believe that science should be used and appropriated as a reason to develop pristine areas. The 30 meter telescope has obtained their permits and they performed their environmental impact assessments of the space on the mountain. We can go on and on on why that's acceptable or not acceptable but a, a huge argument for many of the the people who believe the TMT should be built is that if there are people in opposition they should have came forward years ago in 2014 to speak out against it now that there's people who oppose it too late I would offer a challenging argument that if there was a designated pristine area which an environmental impact statement was performed and it showed that there was no organisms 
within that space, no endangered or no any organism, whether it's a buffalo or a bird or a beetle or a worm, nothing was there. And construction hasn't begun, but five years later, they're ready to do construction, and now the entire sacred space or the entire pristine area has been colonized by bald eagles or buffalo or sea turtles I, I don't know the development agency do they just say hey you turtles you weren't here five years ago beat it and just develop where they have colonized no a, a primary example of that is the elephant seals in Cambria right below Big Sur in California coast. Those aren't indigenous organisms to that coastline. They came from somewhere else and only recently, but now there's designated protection area. So for the 30 meter telescope development agency, for them to say that organisms aren't being affected by the development is a fallacy. And I understand that Yes, maybe they didn't get as much opposition in 2014 as they're receiving now. But that doesn't negate the fact that there are organisms that are being greatly affected and damaged, whether it's mentally or physically, by the development, the construction of this entity. And this is a, a big issue for me. You know, there's many, many points of why the TMT should be built and why it shouldn't be built. I'm only expressing my perspective as a scientist, why I believe that the logic that legitimizes science as a reason to develop is flawed. I believe that the construction should halt. And there should be a reassessment, a reevaluation of the impact which it is causing which is more than just the Hawaiians. It's more than just the Hawaii Island residents. It's more than just the astronomers. It's more than just the government agencies who will benefit from this. All stakeholders include people who care about pristine areas. I would love to hear from an economist perspective. The resources which the 30 meter telescope consortium is providing to the government agency for the state of Hawaii for education, I'm curious as to whether they are economically worth it because I don't know. You know if the state receives a million dollars a year for lease for leasing out the, the land to the TMT consortium how much money is that really in relation to the overall budget of daily operation what does a million dollars really get us does it just pave a sidewalk on one block two blocks can we build a school, a hospital, or do we just pay the electric bill for AC at the governor's office? What does a million dollars really even give us? At the end of the day, I'm only one, but I'm one of a community who exist in this place and have existed in this place for thousands of years. And I plan on existing thousands of more years, a part of this culture. Thank you for listening. I hope it brings people a sense of understanding and perspective and also it can facilitate other type of critiques even on my own perspective of how we can improve our community and our ecosystem. Mahalo.